What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Now, since we are in a pandemic with COVID-19 and all, I decided to go ahead and do my top 10 favorite pandemic movies, whether it's a virus outbreak film and all, because there are some really good ones, and there are some really realistic uh, pandemic movies around. So, with that being said, here are my 10 favorite pandemic movies. All right. Coming in at number 10, I'm going to go with Eli Roth's Cabin Fever. Now, Cabin Fever is about these uh, college friends uh, who end up walking on this vacation deep into the uh, mountains. And so, like, with the uh, top down and music up, they end up driving to this uh, remote cabin to enjoy their uh, last um, their last day. And, you know, one of the characters ends up getting, us, uh, you know, sick and her uh, skin starts to bubble. And it turns out uh, she's been affected by a virus and there's, like, a virus going around. And Cabin Fever is, you know, they did do a couple of sequels, which the sequels aren't all that great. But Eli Roth's Cabin Fever, it's not, like, really, um, you know, torture uh, films as he normally has, with, like, uh, with Hasa and all. But, man, Eli Roth did a really cool job with this one. You know, of course, the, uh, you know, the characters also ends up confronting the terror of uh, having to, uh, they also ends up having uh, to kill anyone who comes uh, even near them. And that's probably something that might actually, that actually probably have happened in real life. Because, you know, yeah. Because right now, people cannot really go near anyone right now. So let's hope people do not watch Cabin Fever and think of, okay, if you're coming near me, I'm just going to kill you. So I I'm happy. Uh, I I hope uh, anyone who does come near someone do not have not seen Cabin Fever because yeah, but uh, anyway, if you guys have not seen Cabin Fever, it's it's not as much of a uh, pandemic as uh, we have now, but uh yeah, it's one mess of uh pandemic flick and it's really bloody. It's not gory gory, but it gets pretty gory once in a while, and yeah. I mean, the disease even turns people against uh, each other. So, yeah. I mean, as you know, as bad as COVID nineteen is, let's just be grateful that it's not that the virus we got um, going around now is not as bad as the virus from cabin fever. Let's just be grateful about that one. Anyway, coming in at number nine, I'm gonna go with Twenty Eight Days Later. Now, 20 Days Later is a zombie film uh, directed by Danny Boyle, starring Cillian Murphy. And it's about these uh, group of misguided animal right, um, activists who ends up freeing a uh, caged chimp affected with the uh, rage virus from a medical research lab. And so uh, this bike carrier named Jim, played by Cillian Murphy, ends up waking up from a coma a month after. And he ends up uh, finding that his uh, city is all uh, but deserted. And there's, and he ends up coming on the run from a, uh, from the zombie-like, uh, victims of the rage. And 20 Days Later is, is a really good zombie film. Uh, you also had Naomi Harris was in this, Brandon Gleason. You know, these zombies were actually more faster than you expect regular zombies to be. And, of course, we had 20 Weeks Later, which was not as good as 20 Days Later, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, there has been rumors about another one, but God knows if a third one's ever gonna happen. But, uh, yeah, if you guys never really seen 20 Days Later, I'll say go check it out. It's a really good one. Alright. Coming in at number 8, I'm gonna go with The Faculty. Now, this is at these, uh, these high school kids who whose teachers end up becoming affected by a virus, and they become, like, uh, affected by these, uh, you know, virus where they become aliens. And so the kids have to try to uh, find a way to, uh, take, like, really take down their, um, old teachers. And the faculty is pretty awesome. You know, directed by Robert Rodriguez, you know, starring the likes of, uh, Jordan and Brewster a couple years before Fast and Furious. Uh, you also had Josh Hartnett, Clea Duval. Uh, Salma Hayek, you had Robert Patrick, Elijah Wood, John Stewart, uh, you even had Usher was in this. Yeah, The Faculty is terrific. It is a really uh, cool alien-based movie, either the aliens don't really come from the sky, uh, they end up being possessed by uh, 
they end up taking form of teachers. So, yeah, you these teachers you these are teachers that you don't know if you could trust or not. But uh, yeah, the faculty is a really decent one. And if you guys have not seen it, it's really underrated. It's not really a movie that many people talk about nowadays, but it's pretty decent. All right, coming in at number seven, I'm gonna go with Resident Evil. Now, this is based on the popular video game starring uh, Mila Jovovich as the lead character Alice, and of course, um, there's a, a virus um that's uh, turning people into zombies, and of course, Alice has to uh you know take them down. And you also had uh Michelle um Rodriguez, Paul W S Anderson directed this film. Resident Evil, the, the last ones were pretty decent, but the first Resident Evil is pretty fun. You know, very violent. Mila Jovovich plays Alice perfectly. And there's also talks about Resident Evil TV show, but due to COVID-19, uh, that ended up getting shut down, so God knows if that's still ever going to happen. But, uh, yeah, Resident Evil, you know, it's probably one of the best, uh, like, one of the better video game, uh, base movies it's pretty solid you know some pretty cool um act like uh actors are involved if and not to mention part of his status is no stranger for video game movies because he of course gave us uh more combat but uh his best is resident evil and if you guys haven't seen it go check it out all right coming in at number six i'm gonna go with i am legend i mean Come on, you know, how could you not choose the Will Smith film, I Am Legend? It is a really cool apocalyptic movie. I mean, heck, if you go down to Times Square now, it literally feels like I Am Legend down there. You know, there's literally no one around, like, there's barely no one around Times Square. You're walking around Times Square, you know, alone. I mean, heck, I even um, advise people to, you know, go down Times Square with a dog and just reenact uh, I Am Legend. That's pretty cool right there but uh anyway i am legend of course had a uh, will smith um as uh robert neville who's a sub scientist who is also a uh, survivor of this uh man-made plot that uh transforms humans into these uh, bloodthirsty uh mutants and he ends up wandering alone through new york city and you know he's also calling out for um other possible survivors and and there's like you know, creepy uh, mutant um, that's also out to uh, get Will Smith as well. I mean, it is crazy to believe that I Am Legend predicted two things. Like, you could tell I Am Legend predicted uh, people being alone, like, not at Times Square. Um, they also predicted Batman vs. Superman. Like, there's like a billboard of Batman vs. Superman around in the uh, background. That sort of predicted what we had, of uh, what we were um, ended up getting a couple years after. But, uh,. Anyway, if you guys haven't really seen I Am Legend yet, it is pretty cool. And not bad for a PG-13 uh, apocalyptic film. I mean, it would have been better if it was R-rated, but hey. Uh, or if you're a dog lover, you probably won't like this movie either. Just, yeah. Just a little warning, uh, you're going to need tissues if you're watching this, especially if you're a dog lover. Alright, number five, I'm going to go with Word War Z. You know, starring Brad Pitt, and of course, um, where this uh, lethal um virus ends up spraying throughout a uh, you know, single bite and turning people um like healthy people into these uh into these zombies, and these zombies are actually pretty fast. Like they're not like walking dead fast, but uh, there's some pretty fast zombies, and you're gonna have to run from them. And Brad Pitt does an awesome job here, based on a book by Max Brooks. Really cool, uh, fun, entertaining uh, flight. I also love to see a sequel, but I don't know if a sequel is still ever going to happen. But yeah, never say never. Anyway, if you guys have not seen World War Z yet, go check it out. It's a really solid one. All right, number four is Oh Boy. It's a film that is on Netflix and directed by Soberg, and it technically is similar to what's going on today. Number four, it is Contagion. It is crazy to believe how realistic the movie Contagion is. 
you know, in it, you got uh, Grant Paltrow, who portrays uh, Beth um, Amhoff, who ends up returning uh, to Minnesota from a Hong Kong from a Hong Kong business trip, and she ends up attributing the uh, mellow ass uh, that she feels to uh, you know jet lag, and you know she ends up ha- uh, having a virus that ended up uh, that ended up you know killing her and her uh, husband. Um, you know, played by Matt Damon is a very shocking. Uh, Try to find out like the uh, global um pandemic, like the global virus that's killing her, and this a uh, you know global pandemic ends up exploding, and so doctors try to contain the Aleppo uh microbe, but society ends up beginning to uh, collapse and all that, and so you got Jude Law um, who's this a uh, blogger uh, here you also got uh Kate Winslet, Lawrence Fishburne, Brian Cranston, John Hawks, Elliot Gould, Marion Cotillard. Uh, for this was actually I believe this was Pages of Teen the Fun I was sick of. It's been a while since I've seen this. But it's actually on Netflix, which is ironic. <laughs> and is, you know it's crazy how uh, contagion is how uh, you know realistic contagion is, especially of what's going on in the world now. And Steven Soberg did a pretty good job of contagion. You know, the it also had a great cast list. If you guys have not seen Contagion yet, it might be awkward to watch Contagion now, but Contagion is actually pretty decent. So definitely go check out Contagion if you guys have not seen that. Number three, it's a comedy, and that is Shaun of the Dead. About a virus outbreak uh, that ends up trying people, like, that ends up uh, trying society into zombies. And of course, you've got uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, who's trying to take them down. And Shaun of the Dead, directed by Edgar Wright, it's one of the funniest zombie movies there is. Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, those two play off each other well. The Zombies was pretty decent. You know, you also had uh, Penelope uh, Wilton, who portrays the uh, you know, mother in this. Uh, these zombies were pretty fast as well. Uh, it's a really fun, entertaining zombie-based film. Um, it's a shame we never really got to see a sequel, but, uh, hey, it was still pretty decent. So, if you guys haven't really seen Shaun the Dead, go check that one out. It's a really good one. Alright, my number two pick, it is 12 Monkeys. Now, this is a sci-fi film directed by Terry Gilliam, you know, starring uh, Bruce Willis as a James Cole, who's this, a prisoner um, of the uh, state of the year uh, 2035. Who ends up uh earning a parole if he agrees to travel back in time and uh and ends up uh diverting a uh devastating uh plot and so like the this virus ends up wiping out most of Earth's uh, population and the remainder of uh life ends up um undergrounding because the air is uh, poisonous and all and so he ends up returning to the year nineteen ninety and six years before the uh the start of the plunge. Uh, Co ends up becoming imprisoned in this uh, psychiatric uh, faculty, of, and so because of warning, sounds like uh, you know these uh, mad raving, and so uh, you got um, it's another film that has Brad Pitt in it. Uh, so I got like two Brad Pitt movies in this list. You also got Christopher Plummer, uh, Madeline uh, Stowe. Uh, this is a pretty decent um pandemic based film. It is a time travel flick. A really decent futuristic based movie. Uh, probably one of Terry Gilliam's uh, best work. He did a really cool job with this film. You know, great great performances by Bruce Willis. Probably one of Bruce Willis's uh, one of the best Bruce Willis movies where he actually cared. You know, but uh, yeah, if you guys haven't really seen Twelve Monkeys, it is also based on a book, so there's that too. But Twelve Monkeys is really terrific. A really nice sci-fi film. Uh, it's definitely worth a watch. Alright, my number one favorite pandemic movie of all time is literally Outbreak. You know, Outbreak, directed by Wolfgang Peterson, it's terrific, you know. It's about this uh, virus that ends up draining civilization, and you got these uh, African monkeys carrying a a lethal virus that's smuggling into the uh, U.S., and so, like, the outbreak ends up occurring in California town. And so, like, to control the spread of the disease, a team of doctors is brought 
is uh, brought in that um, you got a disease expert played by Dustin Hoffman and his ex-wife played by Rene Russo. You got a few other doctors that's trying to fight um, against the clock to save the town and the residents. Uh, you got Morgan Freeman, Kevin Spacey, Cuba Green Jr. is in this, Patrick Dempsey, uh, Donald Sutherland. Outbreak, I mean, you're not going to want to look at a monkey the same way because a monkey being, you know, infected with a virus. Yeah, Outbreak is a really terrific one. It's definitely very realistic of what's going on in the world uh, today. And Outbreak is a really decent one. Uh, it's probably, to me, it's the best pandemic movie we got. A uh, really solid cast, uh, great um, direction by Wolfgang Pearson, who doesn't really do anything anymore. Uh, I kind of wish Wolfgang Pearson could make some sort of a comeback. But uh, anyway, yeah, if you guys never really seen Outbreak yet, do yourself a favor. Go watch Outbreak. You won't be disappointed. It's actually on Netflix, which is ironic that we're in a pandemic uh, world right now. And we got a couple pandemic movies on Netflix. We got Outbreak. We got... Uh, uh, we got Contagion. So very ironic, we got a couple of uh, virus-based uh, films on Netflix. But uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Let me do the quick rundown. Uh, 10, Cabot Fever. 9, 20 Days Later. 8, The Faculty. 7, Resident Evil. 6, I Am Legend. 5, World War Z. 4, Contagion. 3, Shaun of the Dead. 2, 12 Monkeys. And 1, Outbreak. Alright, there's a few other ones I probably could have added. Well, let's see. Train to Busan, which, by the way, the sequel looks pretty decent. Okay. Uh, the Stand, which I'm actually looking forward for, CV for CBS's or Access uh, version. But the original Stand with like, Gary Sinise, Molly Ringwald, that was pretty decent. Uh, let's see. Oh, Kingsman the Golden Circle, that included a couple of viruses. Children of Man's a good one. Uh, Carriers with uh, Chris Pine. That was not all that right. Uh, there's It Comes at Night, which was not good, to be honest. Let's see. Um, let's see. The Omega Man. Uh, there's Exam. Perfect Sense. Daybreakers. Patient Zero. Here Alone. Uh, Pandemic. Uh, Maggie. Oh, there's some decent ones. Uh, Cooties, which features uh, kids being affected. Yeah. Let's see. If you guys have not ever seen Cooties, uh, that, that, you know, with Elijah Wood, Cooties is actually pretty decent. It's about these uh, kids who end up uh, becoming infected by this virus and it's actually killing uh, fa the faculty workers. And it's one really messed up film. You're not going to look at kids the same way. Uh, Brandon, uh, some really decent one, uh, Part Pure's, uh, Villain. Anyway, let me leave you guys, uh, what is one of your favorite pandemic movies? Drop a comment below, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Team Movie Sign Off.